everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. I'm going to do a video today on the AYN Odin. I've had the device for about 24 hours now, and I wanted to show you guys what I've been working on with it so far and what I've done with the stock Android image. I also want to point out that I do have every intention of working on Linux for this device, but I started with Android because it's what the device comes with. The first thing here, I've got the Google Pixel background, the live wallpaper, as well as the Pixel launcher running, as you can see here from the menu. When we go into settings here, there's the digital well-being. There's Google Assistant, and there is a microphone in this device as well, so I can activate it so I can say, hey Google, and give it a command and it'll do things. As you can see from the build number, I've been doing some messing around and tinkering of my own. This device has been rooted with the latest version of Magisk. I want to give a shout out to Thor for some assistance with that one. For the modules here, the audio notif modification library is for Viper FX, which I'll show you later in this video. Pixelfy here is how I got all the Google stuffs in here. The XML pack allows me to download proprietary things like the Samsung browser or Sony's music player from the Play Store, things that are only meant for specific manufacturers' devices. And Zygisk here is a long explanation, but to make it short, Zygot is the first part of the boot when your phone or your device turns on. That's the first thing that's accessed. This puts a line of code or two in there that allows other things to run that need a deeper level of access, like Gravity Box, which I will show you now. Now, for those of you that are paying attention to detail, if you look at the top right corner of my screen, you'll notice that my battery indicator is different from your device. The reason for that is because of this particular thing here. It's just one feature of Gravity Box. But there's the stock one right there. Turn it into a circle battery. You can do all kinds of different things with that. You can change the way notifications work. You can change gestures and things like that. There's a whole different array of customizations that you can do with Gravity Box, which is one of the main reasons that I've got it. In order to get Gravity Box, you need something called Exposed Framework installed first. So the one that I've used on this device is LS Exposed because it works with Magisk. It, the other one, like Exposed Framework or Ed Exposed, requires Riru, which is outdated now because Magisk and Zygisk have taken over how that process works. I generally prefer to use this ATV launcher, and it's what I do normally use, but I just tested the Pixel stuff before the video, so I figured I'd show that it works. Now, Viper here allows a whole lot of custom controls. As you can see, you can control the gain, compression, you can control the equalizer, convolver, surround sound, differential sound. I usually use Dynamic System and Viper Bass a lot because they're two different types of bass control. Clarity also helps as well. I'm going to do an experiment and see if Viper works via HDMI. You 
see how the here. Kind of curious to see if we can hear the difference in the audio there. Netflix does work as well. However, the one negative to it currently is that when you first open Netflix, it'll be sideways. Once you start playing something, it'll go back to proper orientation for the device's screen. I don't think I really need to show you guys the games in and of itself, because there's a ton of videos that already show emulation and that already show the gameplay, so it's kind of redundant to do it again. Another tool that I recommend using is Explore. Once you have root, this will allow you complete access to every file everywhere on your phone, which is a very large degree of control that's very useful to have. You can make a lot of system changes if you know how. However, if you don't know what you're doing, I strongly advise against playing with the root of your phone, or your Odin in this case, I guess. Here's the Samsung Internet browser that I was talking about. And here's the Sony Music Player. It's just my favorite music particular app or app on Android, so I use this one. It's going to about wrap it up for this video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at what I've been working on since I got the Odin yesterday. As I said at the start of the video, my primary motivation was to do Linux for this device. So basically I'm just using Android as a testing bed to get familiar with the hardware more and use the device more and just get used to it. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.